all of my content is sponsored by my patrons. So thank you to my patrons for supporting my content. If you want to be down with the crew, it's only $5. But if you want the vlogs too, that's 10. So hit me with the 10, come through and be part of the family. How come you don't want trucker hats, t-shirts and sweatshirts? Hillfoxclub.com. What up? My name is Jade and this is the Major Looks channel. And today we've got our first thrifting vlog in LA since I am a resident again. Uh, yeah, some of y'all were asking me questions. I've lived here before. Um, the pandemic drew me out, but today is my day off and I kind of just want to do some light thrifting. I'm really not trying to be in the trenches today. I'm really not, I'm not about to do the most, you know? Um, I might hit like one or two spots, call it a day. And I dressed accordingly. This, so this is what I'm wearing. Very, you know, basic shit. Not quite bummy, but giving you very much basic. And the reason I did this was on purpose to save money because if I'm dressed like this, I'm probably not gonna go to the Beverly Center. I'm probably not gonna go to the Grove because, you know, I got my little fake bummy shit on. Got the bag, we ready to go. AirPods ready to go. Phone ready to go. My glasses are in the car, sunglasses. I got uh, sensitive eyes. Things that I really wanna find today, I kinda just wanna find some stuff for New York. I'm thinking about booking an impromptu trip, just like a solo dolo trip. Only gonna be there like a couple days, just you know, pretty much be there to eat, do some shopping. Um, read, hang out, chill. So I think I wanna try and find maybe like a coat, something simple, like a trench coat. And um, you can never go wrong with accessories too. So I'm really looking for like cool belts, um, jackets, stuff like that. So let's go. Y'all, we are here. Oh, that's a building. I was like, what is in my backseat? And this is like a Goodwill that I've never seen before. I've never seen a Goodwill in like a, like I've seen a Goodwill in a plaza before, but usually the Goodwill is like the thing at the plaza and then it's just kind of surrounded by other stuff. So, but this one's a little different. So we'll see, we'll see what the thrifting is like in Culver City. So this Goodwill was okay. As you can see, the racks are pretty like sparse. And so I didn't know if it's normally like that, you know, like did people come in and just sweep the joint? I don't know, but the selection wasn't that great. However, as you can see, I, I do have like at least four or five items in my hand. This was like one of those situations where you're not feeling good, but you can't pick stuff up anyway. What, what, what the fuck is this? Okay. That was not bad. I walked in and it was not looking very promising, but Goodwill has a way of just like getting you to stick around for a little bit. I feel like that always happens. Like I walk in, I do a quick glance over each section and it was easy to in this one because most of the racks were pretty like, like they weren't packed in. They were spaced around pretty much each item. And so I went in and I saw the scarcity. And so I was like, eh, usually by that point, all the good shit's gone. But then at the same time, this is why Goodwill is, is one of those ones where it's like, you really never know what you're gonna get because who says that they got the shit that you want? You know what I mean? Like, I think that's why sometimes I don't care what day I go, even if it's like the bad day to go because who is to say that y'all looking for the same stuff that I am? But on to the next one. All right, we're at the next Goodwill. We're actually near the airport. And I found that Goodwills in obscure locations like the Goodwills that are harder to get to or annoying to get to tend to have the better shit because the people that are going and dropping it off tend to live around there and it's not inconvenient for them. But if they live around there, there's a good chance that they have money 
because to live somewhere that's inconvenient with high traffic usually means that you pay a premium price for being around shit. This is just the way that my brain works. So let's go on here and hope that they got something. I've already spent $28 and I would love to spend less than that at this one. So let's go. We secured the bags, two different Goodwills, two different bags, one's bigger than the other. Let's go through them. From the spot that I just went to, this was the one, there might be another one closer to LAX or around LAX, but this was the one that's near LAX that I went to. It is just this super old purple hoodie. It's actually a Gildan hoodie um, and it has, no strings, which is a really small detail that I actually really like about hoodies. I don't like the, the strings that you can like pull. I'd rather it not be there. Um, I also hate kangaroo pockets, but I liked the color of this so much. I thought it would be really, really great for like those really simple fits that just are comfortable and feel nice. Um, tip, pro tip, if you ever love, if you like really simple outfits, and I mean simple, simple, like white t-shirt, jeans sneakers or boots whatever keep it pushing one way to make it feel a little less regular if that's something that you're interested in is exaggerating the proportions so crop the t-shirt put on some high-waisted pants or like some baggy pants um and then the other option that i choose to go with at times is to just go for a certain kind of silhouette so like this is a 2x so this is going to be super oversized i would wear them with pants like this also pants that are super oversized just to give it you know something just to give it some like intention make it feel a little less regular and i'm also going to be putting up like the try on portion of this too so we're going to try these on as well because all the um clothing what all of the fitting rooms are closed so this next pair of pants i got i've been looking for a pair of like similar to this just very baggy pants that are black that feel a little bit more dressed up than these do though like these are my i'm just throwing these on so i don't have uh my booty out in the streets like that's the service that these provide but i wanted something that was like same amount of comfort same kind of like shape but just like a little bit more buttoned up and in black and so i picked up these men's trousers they're in a size 34. they're polyester like 100 percent polyester which i don't love because it kind of gives it that like almost nylon kind of feel like that staticky kind of nylon feel but i really liked the waistband on these whenever i'm looking at men's trousers in particular i always look for one pleats here and two, a slightly wider waistband. Normally, I would like a waistband that's a little bit wider than this one. And the reason why I like the wider waistbands on men's trousers, especially if they have pleats, is because if you were to tuck it in, um, like, like if you were to tuck a t-shirt in, they just look a little bit nicer because there's just more detailing around like the waistband. And so I'm hoping that the length on these isn't crazy, you know, and I'm hoping that they fit the waist okay it does look like somebody took these in in the back but they also don't so we'll see we'll see how these end up fitting and the brand on these is eddie domani judging by the tag i want to say these are like older these came at nine dollars now we racked up sort of at the first spot i also have some interesting choices in here but let's start off with the most jade one, another pair of black slacks, but these have, oh my God. <laughs> these have uh, an elastic waistband with the drawstring, of course. And these are from Banana Republic. And the blend on this is interesting because it's a wool polyester kind of blend. And so they have some movement. They are similar to the fabric of these pants that I'm wearing right now, which is why I picked them up. 
And I went to this Goodwill before I went to the other one. And I fully plan on making some returns too. So if you see my double purchases, Jade, you just put, you just showed us a pair of black slacks. Mind your business, number one. But number two, just know we're making returns. But I saw these first and I thought these would have the same effect as the pants I'm wearing right now, uh, just in black. You know, when I go, whenever I go to Goodwill now, I don't even really try to find, you know, the most unique or like really cool. Like if I do find them, tight but like when I go to Google that's not really my goal anymore I just want to find shit that I know I'm actually gonna wear and the best part is that it's cheap it's like stuff I'd actually wear and probably wear a lot and I pay three dollars for it so even better these are pretty much just to service the same purposes of these pants just in black they're a medium they're a banana republic they are women's and so i'm hoping that they don't do something weird in my leg i don't know women's trousers sometimes they like to do a weird taper in a weird place that nobody asked for do i i'm gonna close this <laughs> the next piece i got is this oversized double-breasted blazer in black the brand is one i've never heard of marco cellini once again i'm gonna style this but I've always liked the look of the oversized blazers, like the real oversized ones, um, like a men's blazer. But I just had a hard time finding one that fits in the shoulders how I like. And so I tried this one on. And just looking at how it's laying on the body, it's really nice. Like, obviously I would not wear it like this and probably not with a chunky sweater underneath but I just liked how it looked on, like even though it was oversized, it didn't look crazy. <laughs> like I find that whenever I'm trying to do certain trends that the girls are doing, um, it just doesn't like work with my body. So this one has these beautiful peak lapels, which I think just gives it that extra little oomph. Um, it's also double breasted, as I mentioned. So it's a little bit wider in the body. It doesn't cut slim. And I think that's really what I needed at the end of the day, just something that didn't look super um off from what i normally buy and i've got two more weird choices but i'm just gonna show them to you and if you see the vision then you see the vision if you don't you don't it's cool it's a tommy bahama hawaiian shirt for one this gave me a uh, rude the brand rude it gave me like those kind of vibes um i think just the way i would style this is opposite of the occasion that you would normally see this kind of thing in. So instead of like, you know, jorts and sandals, some dad sandals, I'd probably pair honestly like a white tank top underneath with some really baggy black pants, similar to the, similar to the black, the first pair of black pants I showed, hoping, you know, God willing, those actually work out. This was like Hawaii, yes, but like not too on the nose to me. The fact that it's mostly green, um, and it's just these really oversized leaves and flowers just makes it feel a little bit more edited to me and less just like, you know, hunky dory, uh, Hawaii vibe. So that's why I picked it up. I also love that it's slightly cropped in the body too, and it is wider. And so I'm hoping that it just looks nice on probably something cool for the summertime or springtime. So yeah, I think my inner child actually bought this shirt, not me. Um, but it is actually a shirt from the brand Obey. I remember back when I was going to Zoomies all the time, PacSun all the time, this was a brand that I would constantly purchase things from. I think I was thinking like this would work with the simple fit, cool sneakers, call it a day. I like the green and white stripes. I don't love the black collar as much, but I'm okay with it. Like I don't absolutely hate it. So I think I bought this mostly for the white and green kind of like colorway because I have so many shoes that this white and green pattern would look great with. I'm the first one off the top of my head is my my Gucci Gazelles, which I'm gonna bring out just in case, just in case, just in case you haven't seen them. Like I can imagine something with these working. Something. I don't know what, but something. And the last item I'm going to show you is 1000% an impulse buy. I saw it and I was like, that's cute. I think I want it. Um, I have no idea if these pearls are real. By the white thread in between them, I'm going to say these are fake. 
but I just saw these like colorful pearls and if you are following me on IG, then you saw that I did a campaign with Benbridge where they had to send everything back. But I featured these like multicolored, like freshwater pearls. They were so pretty, um, but unfortunately had to send them back. And so when I saw this, it kind of gave me the same vibe. You know, is it giving cheapy? Maybe, maybe it is, but it's pretty heavy. So I'm hoping that it'll look decent. Let's just try it. Not mad at it. Cute. That's it y'all. That's everything that I got from Goodwill. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me and uh, stay tuned, more coming. I cannot believe I didn't tell y'all this story of what happened when I went to the second Goodwill. So I'm in line and there's this dude in front of me, like racked up. He got one pile of clothes in one hand and then he got another pile of clothes like in his other hand. And he's just like sitting there waiting in line. Right before I got in line, because I, my back was turned to the line before I like turned around and got in the line, I heard like glass shatter and then somebody say, oh, somebody go get the broom and the dustpan, all right? So glass shatter, broom, dustpan, I turn around, get in line. So we're waiting in line, right? I'm watching them clean up the glass and everything, waiting for my line, you know, waiting for my line to go down. The dude in front of me with the two piles of clothes literally just walks out the store. Not even with haste. He didn't even look. I think he found his small window of opportunity and walked out. You heard the tags waving in the wind as he was walking out of the store. I just thought that that was wild. And I didn't say anything because you know what? More power to him. Good for you. If you're going to do something that bold, I'm going to let you get away with it. Because that was crazy. By now, there should probably be like a little video that you can click to watch. But yeah, I just want to tell y'all that because I cannot believe I didn't tell y'all. That was crazy.